Good day fellow recappers, today we're gonna talk about a 2013 movie called Jack the Giant Slayer, so sit back and enjoy the video. In the kingdom of Cloister, Jack, a young farm boy, is fascinated by the legend of Eric, an ancient king who defeated an army of invading giants who went down using a giant beanstalk as bridge from a realm in the sky by controlling them with a magical crown. At the same time, Princess Isabel becomes fascinated with the same legend. Ten years later, Jack goes into town to sell his horse to support his uncle's farm. There, Jack spots Isabel unbeknownst that she's a princess, in a play performance, and develops a crush on her. When a group of thugs try to harass Isabel for her golden armlet, he steps up defending her honor when a group of specialized soldiers called the Guardians appear to fetch the princess, thus revealing Isabel's true identity. Meanwhile, Lord Roderick returns to his study, only to find that a monk has robbed him. The monk offers Jack some magic beans he stole from Roderick as collateral for Jack's horse, then he was captured. Likewise, Jack's uncle scolds him for being foolish for trading the horse for nonsense before throwing the beans on the floor and leaving the house. Oh my gosh! This is food! This is beans! Back at the castle, Isabel quarrels with her father, King Bromwell, as she wants to explore the kingdom, but he wants her to stay and marry Roderick. We see the monk then getting tortured for information on the whereabouts of the beans. He replies, Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Oops wrong movie. Insisting to be free, Isabel sneaks out of the castle and seeks shelter from the rain in Jack's house. As it rains, the ground shakes and ensues chaos inside the house. One of the beans takes root and grows into a massive beanstalk that carries the house and Isabel into the sky as Jack falls to the ground. Jack wakes up, surprised all the king's men surround the area. He explains about the incident, him, Roderick, and Roderick's attendant, Wick, volunteer to join the king's knights, led by Elmont and his second in command, Craw, and climb the beanstalk in search of Isabel. As they climb, Roderick and Wick cut the safety rope, intentionally killing some of the knights to reduce burden. At the top, they discover the giant's realm and decide to split into two groups, one with Jack, Elmont, and Craw and the other including Roderick and Wick, but not before Roderick forcibly takes the remaining beans from Jack although Jack manages to save one for himself. Elmont's group is snared by a giant, who takes everyone prisoner except Jack who hid underwater. Meanwhile, Roderick kills the other guardian, encounters two other giants. One eats Wick, but before they can do the same to Roderick, Roderick dons the magic crown he secretly possesses. Jack follows the giant to their stronghold, where the two-headed giant leader, Fallon, has killed Craw, there. As the giants prepare to kill their remaining prisoners, Roderick walks in and enslaves the giants with the crown. Prisoners thought they are saved when he tells the giants they will attack Cloister at dawn and allows them to cook Isabel and Elmont. Jack finds the imprisoned Isabel and Elmont. Jack slays a giant that prepares to cook Elmont and Isabel as a pig in a blanket by stabbing its cervical spine and rescues them. The trio makes for the beanstalk, where Jack causes the giant guarding the beanstalk to fall off the realm's edge. Jack and Isabel head down the beanstalk, while Elmont stays to confront Roderick giving Jack his badge. Seeing the giant's body, King orders the beanstalk cut down hesitantly to avoid an invasion by the giants. Our boy Jack makes a move to Isabel. <laughs> Elmont kills Roderick, but Fallon takes the crown before Elmont can claim it now commanding all giants, and Elmont is forced to escape down the beanstalk, Jack, Isabel, and Elmont all survive the fall after the beanstalk is cut down, giants used Roderick's beans to descend and as everyone returns home, Jack warns that the giants are using the stalks to attack Cloister, the giants chase Jack, Isabel, and Bromwell into the castle, Elmont takes command, and he fills the moat with tar oil and archers set it on fire. The king's company managed to enter and Jack managed to jump the drawbridge at the last minute. Fallon clings on the drawbridge then gets volleyed by archers falling in the moat and breaks into the castle from below. As the siege continues, Jack and Isabel hides in the castle when Fallon bursted and grabs her, but Jack throws the final bean down Fallon's throat. Beanstalk causes Jack his third slain giant. Jack takes the crown and sends the giants back to their realm. Jack and Isabel marry and tell the story of the giants to their children. As time passes, the magic crown is crafted into St. Edward's crown and is secured in the Tower of London. The end. Then Jim Moriarty breaks in and steals the crown from the Tower of London to get Sherlock's attention. Just kidding. If you like more of my videos please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on more movie hidden gem recaps. Thank you.